So I had a friend come in and uh, she was taking pictures. Uh, so I had some pictures of me painting because it's really hard to get pictures of you painting. And, and so I had set everything up and I just was like, okay, I'm gonna be really just painting like crazy. And it wasn't the kind of photography where you're posing. She was just gonna take pictures of me working. So I set up a bunch of uh, canvases and everything. And then she came in and I, and I was just, I just didn't want to think about her. So I just totally got into what I was doing. And I, but I was sort of like half thinking about her and half thinking about, so I wasn't really super paying attention to the art, but I was just going through the motions kind of. And, but it was fun and I was working away in it. And so we got done with the end of the shoot. And then the next day, uh, one of the, an interior designer came into the studio who was coming to look at a specific painting. And she came in and she saw the piece that I had just kind of started the day before. I wasn't even, it was just sort of like, it was the thing I was working on to get these photographs. And she wanted that one. She's like, oh my God, I love this. And I hadn't even thought about it being done. And so I did a few things to it, but it ended up being this painting that just came about really, really easily. And so that was curious to me and, and how that comes about. And anyway, my name is Nicholas Wilton and this is Art to Life. And we're talking about finishing paintings. How do you know when you're done? How do you figure all that out? And I don't think there's necessarily, uh, there isn't one answer, but the first sort of piece, there's a couple things, I, how I think about it is, um, it's really personal. First of all, there isn't a, there isn't a checklist really. Um, so, did you progress? And that's what I do. I look at the work that I'm working on, and if I feel like it's coming down the road and I'm liking it, first of all, you have to like it. But also, did did it go further based on what I was doing before? And no one really knows what you're doing before, so they can't gauge how far you've come. Only you can do that. And that's why it's such a mystery. It's like you ask people, is it done? And they're like, I don't know, you know. But that's why, because did you gain, did you, did you pick up yardage, <laughs> you know, doing this picture? Uh, are you more inspired looking at this and more excited to do the next one? Those are the kinds of things that are really, really helpful for me to deciding if it's finished. And of course, you're never done. It's just a process of moving along and improving. These paintings are like stepping stones. And so that also helps me like, well, it might not be perfect or it might not be completely done or maybe there's something really amazing I could do but I can't see it. I'm ready to move to something else. This is good, this is fine, this is great. You know, it's better than what I did before or it's different or this is exciting for this new direction. So that's the first thing. The second little piece about finishing, and this is kind of something that I notice uh, for myself, um, try it on, see if it works for you, but I notice that in the beginning of my work, the moves I'm making, the changes I'm making are really, really large. I'm trying all kinds of things. I'm moving big areas, I'm coloring things out, I'm deciding I don't like the composition at all, painting it out, moving things. It's really dynamic and it's really big. And as I get those big things working, the big loud view, the 30,000 foot view, then I start kind of doing less powerful or less big things, <laughs> medium sized things. And I just notice as I go through the process, providing I'm still liking it, of course, um, the changes um, become smaller. And to the point where I'm at the end, and this thing's been, I've been working on it for so long, but I'm doing little tiny adjustments, you know, like a tiny little pea-sized mark, and then I'm erasing it and, and adjusting a color. And when I find myself doing that, it's like, you know, no one's going to notice what this, these are so small, these changes, and they're not affecting the picture hardly at all. And probably tomorrow, if I didn't do them, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even notice. And then it's like, okay, I think, I think I just need to leave this now. So that's, that's another piece of this. If you find yourself just refining, refining, and, and you know, just polishing something that doesn't need anymore, uh, that's, that's also sometimes it's like, just stop. And then go to where the action is. Go to a new piece that's really exciting and really dynamic and gets you fired up. And you're, because that's the fun part, right? Is when you're, 
you're, you're getting feedback from the work, that you're changing it and doing things that you never do. Finishing is kind of like, okay, let's just wrap this up and put a bow on it, right? The third little idea here that something that I've kind of discovered over the last few years is it's kind of great to not finish the picture. You know, we always think we have to finish this per perfectly. We want to, you know, it's not like a book where you have to read and have the very last page all summarize everything. I think there's something kind of great about leaving an open-endedness. I like the work of mine that is not so figured out, where there's mystery and for the viewer as well as myself. I always, I'm always sort of fantasizing uh, that I will leave some of the raw canvas showing. I almost never can do it. I have to mess up everything. Um, but a few times I've done it, and I love that. I love it that it's like there's those pencil lines from the very beginning in the raw canvas. There's a spaciousness that's created by you not micromanaging and, and handling this picture so much. Like, don't finish it all. Like, leave, leave, it, for some, leave, the, leave it for someone else to fill in a little bit. Anyway, so that, those are some, you know, those three ideas um, move me closer to understanding how to finish. But again, it's, it's a personal thing. So um, I love this subject because it's such a mystery. Leave a comment below. Let us know, how do you know when you're done? This is, we could talk about this for weeks. I hope your Sunday's going great in the studio. And for those of you who are new here, um, we have an amazing uh, free uh, Arts Life artist group. Um, come on and join in. Um, everyone's welcome. And uh, there's some amazing work happening in there. Uh, so please click on the link below and join us. Thanks so much. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.